Amazing Wild West Towns in America It's for sure that nothing can compare to America's history that happened between 1865 to 1895, when many settlers traveled their way to the frontier, when most of them ever wished for new beginnings and better life. At the end of the video, you will discover what happened to the wildest towns in the Wild West. Without further ado, let's begin our travel back to the towns of the Wild West. Oatman, Arizona The town Oatman got its name after Olive Oatman, who was kidnapped by the Apache tribe. She was sold to the Mojave Indians, but later on, she became a celebrity after they set her free. The Oatman mines were one of the largest gold producers in the West. Amarillo, Texas Amarillo, Texas is the classic land of cowboys and their cattle. It was established in 1887 thanks to Abilene developer J.I. Berry. He selected a well-watered spot along Fort Worth and Denver City Railroad. It was then named Oneida, but later on it was converted to Amarillo, the Spanish word for yellow, because the color of the soil on the waterbanks near the creek was yellow. There were 500 tent camps for railroad workers, then came the tough cattle town that soon served a big number of steaks and barbecues. Tombstone, Arizona A prospector named Ed Shiflin was once warned that he will not find anything in Tombstone. Glad that he did not listen, he founded Tombstone, Arizona when he discovered silver in the area in 1877. Most notorious events took place in this town like the O.K. Corral gunfight in 1881. This was the fastest shootout that took the lives of the rival outlaws. 30 bullets were fired in this event that killed Billy Clanton and the McClory brothers. Silverton, Colorado During the Wild West times, Silverton was famous for notorious Blair Street which was a four-block district that was lined with saloons, dance halls, and bordellos. It was also made famous because of Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad, which was laid in 1882. Deadwood, South Dakota One of the greatest gold rushes in America was when the richest in the Southern Black Hills in 1874. After two years, it opened the doors to the fortune seekers who worked their way to the deep forest of dead trees. Bands of outlaws started to come over, as well as gamblers and gunslingers. This town was where Calamity Jane once became a heroine and helped people who needed her. Virginia City, Nevada Virginia City, Nevada was one of the largest and most famous mining magnets that came about as a boom town in 1859. When the Comstock Lode was discovered, the first major silver deposit in the United States. The town was named after a miner named James Old Virginie Finney, who said was drunk and baptized the land and poured some of his whiskey on the ground. In the 1860s, the town got more famous for silver and gold barons. Cody, Wyoming Cody was founded in 1896 by William Frederick Cody. The town was named after the appealing William Frederick Cody, famously known as Buffalo Bill one of the most influential businessmen in the world because of his showmanship, Buffalo Bill was so impressed with this town and thought of possible developments like irrigation. The town has grandiose scenery, rich soil, and a good hunting spot. He returned in the middle of the 1890s to start a town. Bandera, Texas Bandera, Texas was named cowboy capital of the world because of the series of battles between Apache and the Comanche Indians. The last great cattle drive was staged here. Bandera, Texas, was all about a cowboy and their heritage, like chuck wagon, saloons, cattle drives, honky-tonks, and more. You have just discovered the most legendary town in the Wild West. Watch the next video and discover about the Wild West mysteries.